Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be part two of three. So if you missed part one, I'll go ahead and link it up here. But as you can tell in the description, this is going to be a poly pocket haul. So I'm not going to try to repeat myself since part one already happened. But if you guys are new and this is the first video you're clicking on, hello and welcome. Um, what I'm basically doing is showing you guys a huge haul that I picked up the other like a week ago. And I'm finally able to get to do a video for you guys. And I just wanted to share with you the love of Polly's. Um, I'm a huge Polly Pocket collector, specifically 1989 to 1997. Um, but I was able to pick up this huge lot and I just basically what this video is about is showing you guys if you've never seen Polly Pockets, I talk about the Polly Pockets. Also just talking about memories and stuff. So if you guys want to keep on watching and uh, join me and chat with me and talk about Polly's, go ahead and keep on watching. But if you're not into that stuff, totally okay. Just go ahead and exit on out. But this is what this video is going to be about. So I'm super excited. So I already opened box one and two in part one and we are going to open, I have two more boxes left and these things are heavy. So we are going to open this one for part two and this one for part three. So we're almost there. You guys, we are almost there. Um, I'm just going to get into it because I feel like this is going to be a huge unboxing and just for this alone. I don't know if you guys know the size of Holly pockets, but this thing is huge. Like, I mean, it's, <laughs> It's like as tall as me, I feel like, when I'm sitting down. That's pretty tall. So, um, let me see. Yeah, I want to show you guys my info, but it's all right there. But it's, I'm just going to open it from this side. And we're just going to hop into this video. So hopefully, you guys, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up already. Because if you already watched it from um, part one, then you'll know exactly what this one is going to entail. Um, but yeah, I am a huge Polly Pocket collector, like I was saying. Um, I've been collecting Polly Pockets since I was a kid. Um, I started recollecting about two years ago when my mom gave me back my sets. And um, gosh, it's been it's been a journey. It's been a hunt. Let me tell you that. Um, Polly Pocket collecting is not easy, and it's not cheap. <laughs> It's definitely not cheap compared to some of the other collections out there and some sets can go for very very like high dollars so um not none of these sets so far and from what i've seen are like super rare but they are fun sets and definitely if you're going to be a collector like me um you are definitely going to want to collect every single poly pocket because <laughs> that's that's the end goal is to collect every single one at least get every single variant and at least one of every set i know that sounds crazy uh, there is an ending point which is exciting it's from 1989 to 1997 but there's so many that it just makes it like ugh, it just feels like it's impossible we just try to fill the okay perfect oh my gosh you guys look at this this is like filled to the top or I don't even know the side <laughs> so let me just put this over here so it'll be easier for me to put stuff that way okay so right away oh yay okay because I was like in the last part one <laughs> I was not able to show you guys any of the figures because she put some figures but I did find one figure in one of the sets so um there's some figures in this little thing right here Oh man, there's so many different pieces. Okay, I don't even know if I want to show you guys this because this would just take a long time. But I'll just show you guys that. I don't know what the larger pieces are. Maybe that's like to Fashion Poly. Um, I don't collect Fashion Poly, but there are the newer figures right here. The, what do you say? See, you can see there's one right here though. This is the regular 1989, the vintage Poly Pockets, I want to say. And then the newer ones, which were three inches tall. If you guys can see that. And then there's a bunch of the vintage ones here so just oh my gosh so so cute oh hey this is okay so in the last video in part one we went over the polyville the magical move in polyville and hey there are some dresses in here you guys oh my gosh okay so so cool so let me show you guys so for all of those who are um coming over from part one let me just show you guys so this is the magical move in polyville set that I showed you guys and I was talking about dresses now these are the little dresses they're little plastic dresses um cute little ones that you just hang and Polly is the only one who has a magnet so there is no Polly from what I saw in here um but she does go with this set so she goes with this set. I think there might be another one in here that I saw I 
think she goes with this set too. I think this one goes with this set too. So, um, but it is missing quite a few pieces. Oh, and it has a flag. Okay, hey, awesome. So look, there it is. So like I was saying in the last one, there is flags. Oop. Flags that go here. And there's two pink flags. And then there's these characters. And then it's also missing the little umbrella that goes um, right here. But what I was saying about the dresses is you hang the little dresses right here. And then Polly, when you activate her, because this is a magnet um, a magnet set, you're able to activate Polly and move her around the board and she's able to interact with different parts. So when she's over here, she can go in her bed. I don't know if I'm showing this on camera. She can go in her bed and then she also um, goes through her clothes. Like the clothes are able to move and then the fridge moves and stuff. So see how like that moves? So just a fun, fun little set. So that that's just awesome that there's pieces that actually go with the set. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's move on because I don't want to just stay stuck on figures. I know that this is going to be a huge haul because I feel like there's compacts in here. Um, we're just going to open up what we see. So let's just go through this. All right, right off the bat, we have the Sweet Roses. This is part of the Sparkle Surprise Collection. Really, really fun set. Um, one cool thing about the three compacts, um, they came with a little topper. So this one had a rose topper and then in the topper, it actually had perfume in it. So that would go in the little, um, the little hole right here. And it would kind of like keep your poly pocket locked quote unquote. And then you were able to use it as a key to pop it open. Um, but this one obviously it opens without it. And then, oh, it does have poly. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So poly is in here. Let me just stick right there. So she is in, she is in there. So it, is missing quite a few pieces though. This set actually came with like five different rose bouquets. I think one of them was blue, two were purple, and two were pink. And um, it was this like nice translucent pink and then obviously the purple right here. And then I think the blue one was this like translucent blue. So, and then I do see, um, it did come with two vases. So here's one vase. So if you can see that, and then it came with a pink vase. So this is not, so it's missing all the roses one in one vase, but it does have Polly. And the cool thing about Polly is, if you guys can see that right there, she has a little hole right there so she, you can put a bouquet so she can hold some flowers. And then let's see, so this cool thing right here, this is the fountain. If you guys can see that, there is a fish that swims around. So you are able to actually put water in these sets and play. Um, it was this one and the Bubble Time Fun one. I think that's the name of it, Bubble Time Fun or Bubble Fun. I'm not too sure. But the other cool thing about the waterfall is you're able to flip it over and turn it upside down. And you're able to create a little rose garden up top. So you're able to put all the little roses right here. And then you're just able to put them like that. So it creates a little fun center rose bouquet piece, I guess you can say. So that is a fun, fun set. So this is a Sweet Roses. And once again, this is part of the Sparkle Surprise Collection. So beautiful set. I just love the translucent colors in here. It's just a really fun set. So I actually do have all of the Sparkle Surprise Collection and I think they're all complete, except on one of mine, um, the doll is broken. So I'm still, I'm kind of still in the midst of looking for that. So let's see what else we have here. Okay, cool. So this one is, I believe this is the party time surprise, party time surprise. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is the party time surprise compact. And this is actually in the year 1989. So it was one of the first sets that was created. And the fun little, fun little uh, side note about this item, this also was made, remade, remade? Don't I want to say reprodu reproduced, like reproduced um, for the 2019 30th anniversary keepsake collection. So they recreated this one. Um, it had like a purple, purple glitter compact and then different color scheme inside. And it did come, this one came with a poly. Um, she had a little tutu that she could wear for the party. And then it came with a little bear that you could stick in here inside the present. So um, they did recreate it. They made, um, it came out last year and it was just like, it was, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you know, poly pocket and in the compact size, you know, in, in real life. And um, it's so funny. I read the reviews and there was a lot of parents who were not happy with it because the plastic was not the same as how a 1990 is. Like, I don't know um, if you guys, if you're Polly Pocket collectors or anything, but back in the 90s, I feel like toys were a lot more durable and the plastic that they used for the reproduction was very like, 
I don't want to say cheap, but you know, just, just not as nice as the nineties. Like this is like, this is pretty hard plastic and the plastic that they used was not that hard. Um, and a lot of parents were complaining about like the clasp and stuff. So anyways, um, that's just a fun little, fun little note about, um, them bringing back Polly Pocket. So if you're going to bring it back, you guys, Mattel, um, bring it back with better plastic. Okay. I'm just saying, but aside from that, another cool fun fact about this one is there is a variant in this one. So there is a mint variant and obviously it had um, a mint compact outer case and then different color scheme inside. Um, same doll. I think she had a different dress on, um, but same kind of teddy bear. But the fun thing about the mint one was it was a musical um, compact. So basically you would be able to push this little cake right here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like a button, but obviously this is not the musical one. So you would push the button. And then if you guys can see down here, there is um, holes where the music would come out of. So obviously in production, they didn't want to rebuild a same mold that they can just paint. So that's why they didn't um, make a new one. And that's why you would see the little hole right here because they didn't make a new one for just a set. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that is the party time, um, compact, party time surprise compact. So awesome. Awesome. Oh, Hey, okay. So I did see this. See, I am not, I was talking about that fashion poly. I never collected any of these. So I don't even know. I've never seen them in real life. I don't know what this is all about, but let's just open it up and see. So this was like maybe after 2000, I feel like 2000. Okay. I don't even know how to open this thing. Like what is going on here? I would think that you just open it. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. So this is like, I want to say like 2000 after 2002, maybe, maybe like later on in the year. So they made these like three, is that like three inches? I don't know, but pretty big size dolls. And one cool fact that I do know about fashion polys is, um, right in like 2000, was it like 2000? I don't know what year it is. I don't know what year, but when they made them, um, fashion polys were the first dolls ever to have plastic clothing. So if you guys can see, this is plastic clothing. Um, so they kind of changed the game for toys, which is what, I think that's what Mattel is known for. They kind of like always were trying to do innovative new ideas. So if you can see, which I'm kind of surprised at how much stuff there is there, there is a lot of like fun rubber clothing and just a lot of different things. So fun little thing. What if this? Oh, cute. Oh, it's a cute little chair. Um, let's see. Does this turn? This looks like it turns. Oh, it does. Okay. So you turn the little cell phone and this turns the little TV. How fun. And what is in here? Oh, even more stuff. See, and even, they even had, um, hair on these ones. So, so this is fashion poly. So I am not too familiar with any of this stuff. So I don't have very much to say about this except for this is just a generation older than me or younger than me. <laughs> so that is fashion poly. I don't even know. Okay. So 2000. So this was made in 2000 apparently. So how fun is that? So still kind of like the concept idea of like carrying, you know, a compact with you kind of quote unquote, you can carry your doll with you, but not same. So let's see what else is in here. Okay. You guys. So this one, this one, oh, I like this one. This one is the, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay, this is the, yeah, Polly's okay. Um, this one is the Superstar Hair Compact. So, oh gosh, this one's so, like, get a little of all, all that color. So much pink. Talk about Superstar. So, this is Superstar. This is the Superstar Hair Compact. And the fun thing about this is it came with a doll that had hair that you were able to brush. And I think the set also came with some barrettes. So, I had, like, a pink and a yellow barrette and... Um, yeah, you're able to put the little barrettes in the hair and you're able to comb the hair. So really cute set. So I think in here, um, you're able to also store the, oh, <laughs> here, let me tell you, let me show you what I'm trying to talk about. So see, okay, this is what the doll looked like. It had the hair and then it had a little comb that came with a set and then also had the barrettes. So obviously, yeah, no barrettes are included, but this is what they look like. Isn't that so cute? The little doll with the hair. So, and then you're able to just, I don't know, just play and do a bunch of fun things in this set. So fun, fun little set. And now the fun thing, not a fun thing, like another like note to know about Bluebirds is Bluebird Toys, Bluebird, what am I saying? Bluebird Toys was taken over by Mattel. I'm not too sure what year they were taken over by, um, but when Mattel took over, they would, um, 
they would change like a lot of the names of the compacts. Like they changed the names and then they would change the collection. So that collection, um, this collection was also known as the pretty hair collection. And then I think it was also, also known was, it also was known as the happen the hair collection. So it's just fun little facts that you find out, like, especially when a company takes over another company. But anyways, um, let's continue on. So here is another set. This is part of the jeweled collection. So fun, fun little piece. I love the little jewel. So there was four little compacts that came in this little size. Um, one was blue. I think, well, we'll say, um, sapphire, ruby. This is a diamond and then an emerald. So this one is this jeweled Iceland. Oh, and it has Polly in there. Okay. You guys, it has Polly in there. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. So the fun thing about this is it came with a little jewel in the center and you were able to take the jewel out and carry it with you wherever you wanted to. You would take your little treasure with you. And then it also came with a friend. So this one was supposed to have a polar bear, I believe. So Polly would have a little friend. So here's Polly and she would have a little polar bear friend. So such a fun, I'm trying not to, there you go. Such a fun little cute collection. Hopefully it's not being bleached out by the light, but fun little collection. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I think I'm getting tired. It's like, yeah, it's 3.44 a.m. And here I am filming for you guys, trying to get this done with because I just, I need to get through all these boxes so I can <laughs> organize things and know what I'm selling and stuff. But anyways, okay, next item, moving on. This one, which one is this one? I know it's a ring compact. What is the name of this one? Oh, okay, so this is the Dazzling Dressmaker Ring. Dazzling Dress, Dress, Dazzling Dressmaker ring case. It came with Tina and a dog. So the fun thing about this is, this is why it's so bulky, is because it has a ring, which is this little guy. So you're able to put it on your finger and take your poly with you wherever you go. So you were able to, uh, let me show you real quick. We're just gonna stick a poly on here, doesn't matter which one. Um, and you're able to just put your poly, oh actually, nope, that poly is too big. Let's just find one that's not wearing a dress. Okay, we'll put him here. So you're able to put your poly in here, and then you are able to wear your poly. Does that make sense? See? So obviously you need to sit up a little bit there. <laughs> Isn't that so cute though? So um, yeah, so, and I think, I don't even know how many ring compacts there are. There are at least five, more than five, probably maybe six or seven, who knows, but you're able to just stick the compact, the ring, little, the ring, what am I saying? I'm so sorry, you guys, you were able to stick the little ring piece back into the compact and keep it like that. So there's that one. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to, this is part of the dream builders set. Let me see if I can find Oh, here's another one. Okay, so that is obviously not Dream Builders, but this is the um, RV on the go. So this was on the go collection, um, but they made like an RV. They made like a little stable RV. Um, there was a wagon, a bus. There's a couple buses, just the fun little, these are the on the go sets. So it's cute. The wheels do spin. And then you're able to put Polly in the front to drive. And then I think this opens up on the side. Yeah. See, and then you have your little, your little house inside. I believe this came with, um, you could put a little bike back here. And then it also came with a little white canoe that you were able to stick in between those um, ridges and keep it up top. And it came with Polly. So a fun little, fun little guy. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Oh, okay, so here we go. So this is part of the Dream Builders Mansion. Well, this is part of the Dream Builder set. This was not included in the Deluxe Mansion set, but this one is the nursery, if you guys can see has a little teddy bear and man, why is all the light being bleached out? There you go. It has a little teddy bear and the stars. So this set is so, so cool. So this is not um, a set from 1989 to 97. This is like, I think 2003, 2001. Oh, it is 1999. 97? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going from 2000. So it was 1997, yeah, so 1999. So they came out with this set. And I actually do like the sets. I don't like the dolls. Um, little fun fact about myself, I am actually like 
I just don't like dolls. I never, like my mom would buy me dolls for Christmas or for my birthday when I was younger and I just couldn't get into them. I was just like, mm, I don't like them. Like I like Barbies, you know, I like Polly's, but just to get dolls. And I didn't like the dolls that came with them. I just felt like they, I don't know. I just didn't like them. So, but fun little things. There, see, there's a little swing and it came with a baby and I believe Polly may have come with some other pieces, but I'm not too familiar with it. But I know like if you're able to rock this piece, um, the little rocking, the cradle would rock and stuff. So just a fun thing. So the thing about this is when you have your set closed, you can start stacking. So that's why it's just dream builders because you were able to build your mansion. So once I get some more steps in here, I'll show you what it looks like. But so far, this is all I have. Okay, so here is another piece. And oh, I haven't seen this one in real life. Okay, uh, what was this? Is this one the dress shop? This might be the dress shop. I think this is a dress shop. I'm not too sure. Um, but look at, oh, it's so cute. I love the colors. I love the colors. This thing I know turns. So you can have your poly going in and out of the store. So, so cute. And then when you open it, that's what it looks like. So on top is like a little cafe. And then on the bottom is where you are able to dress and change and try on the dresses. So I know this one comes with a dress. Let me see, I think I saw it in here. Yeah, so this one had, had a little dress that you're able to put right there. See the little green dress? So there was a couple, this set has like a lot of pieces. It was like Polly, her friend. I think there was two dresses. There was like a couple hats and a couple like of skirts and tutus that you had in the set. So um, a lot of the pieces are hard to find, but still a fun little set. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love the little... um acrylic staircases or if it's supposed to be a glass staircase but so so cute back here if you guys can see that right there <laughs> okay fun fun little set let me see what else is in here oh my gosh you guys this is like is never ending okay so here is some toppers for the dream builder oh that is so cute oh my gosh you guys a little moon and star for the is this like a water vein i think that's called a water vein and this one is a sun water vein. So, so cute. So this would be like the top of this. Technically, it would be like, well, not on top of this part, but on top of this piece. Let me see. I gotta keep building this thing. Okay, so here's some more toppers for the dream holders. Gosh, there's a lot of pieces. Let me just show you guys. So you're able to put different pieces to make your mansion look. And this is kind of silly because I only have one level for the mansion to build, but we'll just keep going with what we have and I'll show you. Okay, here is another piece to the Polyville. This is the Ski Lodge. This set actually came in, I think, three different variants. One of them was musical, possibly. I want to say one was musical. But, okay, aside from that, there is a little pine tree that goes right here. And then it came with Lulu, maybe Lulu, little Lulu and Polly, and a St. Bernard named Benji. So such a fun little set, especially if you like the snow. And the bed, oh my gosh, the comforter looks so comfy. So you'd be able to like put your little Polly in there and tuck her in. And it's just such a fun little set. So this one did come in like a holiday color. So it was like a red and red and white. Am I thinking the right, I don't, you know, I'm going to stop talking about this one because I don't know if I'm thinking of the right set. I think though, I think I am. Comment down below and let me know what I'm thinking. It might be another set though that I'm thinking of that has, because I know the toy shop comes in, a Christmas like Christmas kind of variant coloring. I think this one does too. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is the ski lodge. Such a cute little fun set. I love the little chimney too. It's just fun. Okay. I'm trying to go through this because we're halfway there. <laughs> um, okay. So here is the toy shop. Okay. So see, I was just talking about the toy shop. So this actually has, uh, there's three variants. Like as odd as that is, there is technically three variants. One is, okay, if you guys can see that at the very beginning, it says, not the beginning, but on the top here, the sticker decal says toys. There's another variant that actually only has um, toys, no wording, no lettering. <laughs> It doesn't have the word toys. It just has like a picture of um, toys on it. And then the other variant would be a, um, there is the one that is the holiday variant, which came with Mr. Claus or Santa, Mrs. Claus. I think 
the friend that came in here, and then Polly. And then it was actually in like a Christmas theme. So the other variant though, the one that says toys, obviously like this, and then it had the other sticker, a different sticker. So that's the only variant that it was. But um, yeah, so this is the toy shop and it came with Polly and her friend. So super, super, super fun. I just like the, um, oh, it's missing the little rocking horse. Bummer. Okay, so there is supposed to be like a little rocking horse right here that um, moves back and forth. So it's missing that piece, but I know I've seen it on eBay before, so it might be easy to complete, might not be, but it is definitely missing some pieces. So there's that. Okay, that's, that's a bummer. Okay, oh well. Anyways, next, let's see what else we have here. What is this? Oh, I picked up two, okay. Let's see. So, oh, I haven't seen this one before. Oh, I love the cup. Dude, you guys, I swear, like, all of these sets are, like, I've been looking at them, and they aren't, like, bad. Like, like grimy, like dirty. You know, some sets, though, they've got sun damage. You know, they got dirt on them. They're dusty because they've been in the attic for so long or in storage. But these are actually in really good condition. Um, I was saying in my last, in part one, not my last, well, it is my last video, but part one, I was talking about, like, how um, you can tell that a compact or not a compact, a play set is really nice by the bridge, by the bridge, by the bricks. I'm sorry. I'm like, I need to get my, my wording correct. So, um, usually on comp, on play sets that are bad would have bad brick. It would have like paint chips or it might, some of them were broken from what I've seen, but these are all very, very clean. And like the rest of the house is very clean. I don't know what it was about the bricking, like the paint would just come off or chip marks would come off. And um, then you could tell that the rest of the set was a little bit, you know, a little bit um, not taken care of. But this one is the dance studio. So I love the little, little vine that you have to go through with the little white gate. That is just so cute. So this is a dance studio and I believe if I read correctly, yep, this piece moves. So if you can see that it moves the little pieces, right? Yeah. So you can move and then Polly and her friend can dance right there. So and they can learn to dance. So you can see the little beam back there with the mirror and everything. So very, very cute and little upstairs sleeping area. Such a fun little set. I love the color. Gosh. Okay, if this was a house, I would actually probably want to live here. Like this, this is cute. This is a cute little like cottagey type house. And even like the little, the little vine, um, I don't even know what you would call that kind of green, green inch <laughs> foliage. So there's that. And then this one is, oh, this is the pet shop. How cute. So this one actually came in two variants too, just like the toy shop. Um, it has the ones that says pets, and then it actually has um, the sticker decal that was just of animals or just of pets, not actual wording on it. So this one came with a cat, a black cat, a brown dog, and I believe Mimi and Polly. So yeah, no, no figures in here, but such a very fun set. And I think the little bunny, you can see the little bunny here. He's already... He's all tucked in his little cage right there. It's just a fun, fun little set. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're still, okay, we're about a third way down. Uh, which one is this one? Ooh, I haven't seen this one either. This one is um, Cozy Cottage. Cozy Cottage. I think this is the Cozy Cottage one. Cozy. I want to say it's Cozy Cottage. I could be wrong, but this came in three different variants. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. So one of the variants was um, kind of like this color scheme, but this back part here was yellow and it had a silver mailbox. And I feel like that one is a little bit more on the rare side because a lot of people didn't know it existed as much. And it also was harder to tell uh, what dolls came with it. So we're not too sure what color the dolls were, like the different clothing, you know, that the dolls had on. Um, but then there was also one that was possibly like a purple slash pink variant. And then it had the same dolls, but just different color of their clothing. So just a fun little set. And I think they were in their pajamas in this one. So it's Polly and her friend in their pajamas. And you can see like they're sleeping out down here or up here. And then just like a fun little living room set up on the bottom. So, so cute. Yeah, you guys, this is so so many thank you so much if you're watching this video too you know who you are you're the one who gave me the set so big heart out to you um i'm having so much fun looking at all the sets that you've given me all the polys there's just so much like i think i'm overwhelmed 
I'm sorry if I'm not sharing it. I'm also kind of oh, like tired, but um, yeah, there's just so much on here. So thank you so much again. Um, gosh, there's just so much. Okay, you guys, I'm not even coming. I feel like I'm not even, this is like a never ending box. Ooh. Oh, I don't have this one either. Oh my gosh. And there's, um, there's the, there's the, there's the, <laughs> the um, dresses, you guys. Okay. This is the bridal salon. I'm sorry, I'm like hogging it because I haven't seen it before in person. But this is the bridal salon. So, so pretty. This one does light up. I wonder. <gasps> it works. Okay. Let me see if I can get both of them on. There we go. So it does work. So if you guys can see that, the lights do light up. And I think they light up in here. Yep, they light up in here too. So awesome. So this set is... Let's see. So it's a bridal salon. So there's three dolls. There's the bride, the bridesmaid, and then Polly. So I'm not too sure if Polly's the bridesmaid or if she's the person who's who runs the salon. <laughs> but if you can see, there are three little skirts, plastic skirts, that you can stick on the bride or Polly, and um, they're able to wear these skirts and try them out. And then there's also, um, there's supposed to be two tiaras, like a tiara and a a flower garland also that you can put on uh, around the Polly's head and see like if you look right here the dresses go right there and then your other dress can go on Polly and you can put her right here and you can spin her and then the garlands would go right here in that area but such a cute set and I think so these doors open and I think these doors open let me see I don't know I don't want to break anything oh yeah so these ones do open how do I do that there you go. So these ones opened up too. So you have a bigger play area because that's like the little uh, garlands. You can't really play with there. So you can open up these parts and have a bigger play set. So that is the bridal salon. Whoop. Don't want to lose that. There you go. Such a fun, fun set. I'm so happy the lights work. That's amazing. And so the fun thing about this one is it also has the top part, which I didn't really understand when I saw it in pictures, like why I sat there. Maybe to showcase to showcase the dress, you know? I'm not too sure. Tell me what you think what that is. Like, what would you do up here? Like, obviously you stick your poly right here and you can turn her. So maybe she's showing off her dress. I don't know, <laughs> but so, so pretty. I like the little glass top, or well, plastic, but quote, unquote glass, um, <laughs> glass windows up top. Such a fun little set. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Now, oh wait, no, I thought this was something else. I remember seeing this one either in the no maybe it was there I don't know okay so this is this is my husband's actually favorite set um out of all my poly pockets he likes this set the most I don't know why I think it's the color like I'll show you guys so it looks like a little present it, it reminds me of a chocolate box though like you would put chocolates in here you know with a little bow there's supposed to be a present and this is the star bright dinner party and oh hey there's like a little poly right here okay so she does belong in this set as well. Look at that. So there's Polly. Um, the funny thing about this set is it came with two Polly's, like literal Polly's and a friend. So there's Polly in the pink dress and then there is Polly in a purple dress. So you had double Polly's and then a friend. So this set is supposed to light up. I wonder, okay, I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna take too long to try to light it up. Um, I wonder if mine is, do I have mine? Let me show you guys mine. I'm pretty sure mine has batteries in it. Yeah, okay. So see, so the lights light up. I don't know if you guys can see that really good. But see like the closet lights up and then like the little chimney down here lights up. These candles down here also light up. And then the backdrop back here lights up. It's just so, so pretty. So when you have like all your lights off and you put Polly in the dark, it's just a fun little set. And there's just so much stuff you can do in this set. Um, so like here you can open up the curtains and you can have, um, I don't know if that's New York or if that's San Francisco or LA, whatever you want to think it is, but you're basically up top on the roof and you can look out and then you can actually, let's see, let me just do this. Okay. So you start off, if you want to look at the table, you start off with just when you sit down at the dinner plates, you know, when you sit down, there's just dinner plates and then you got your food and then you got your dessert. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Like, oh my gosh, they think of everything. 
And then even like the little fridge opens right here, which is really fun. So then you have your bathtub right here with the little fun vanity mirror. And then the top part where you can go and sit down underneath the stars. Just a fun little set. So I don't know. I think that's why my husband likes it because the colors and the lights. But yeah, that's a fun little set. Love it. So Star Bright Dinner Party. So there's that compact. Let me see. I thought this was going to be um, one of the Dream Builders mansion. So it's pink. Let's see. So I keep, oh my gosh. Here is some more pieces to the roof, to the roofing. There's so many roofing pieces. Let me see. Is this one going to finally, okay. We, we made, we got one. So then I'm not going to look like a crazy person. So here is another piece to the Dream Builders. So the fun thing about this is um, you're able to stick them on top of each other and create different levels of your mansion. So this one, I believe, is the master bedroom. Oh, and it does come with a little dog. Okay, yeah, because the little dog, um, I think I remember, I don't know, but it has a little dog and then you're able to stick her or him, I don't know if it's a girl or boy dog, but you're able to stick them in the little bed right there. And then the little bed can hide. So let me see if I can spin this right. Is it spinning? Yeah, and you can hide and put your clothes out for your closet. And the cool thing about this one is, can you guys see that? See how the, the curtains open and close? And then the TV, and then I think the tea and coffee, or the teapot comes up. So it's such a fun little set. And now the thing about these sets is they're all raised up about like a centimeter or two right here. So that way when you are closing them, the thing goes right underneath it. So you are able to have a box with it. So you are able to do this. Let me show you what you can do with your sets. You can have it open or closed. And then let's see. You're able to store them either this way, if you wanted it this way, like that, with your things like that, or you're able to do it this way. I think most people did it that way though. So either way though, and then you can have your little rooftops right here if you wanted to. See how you can build? So then you have your play area, so you can go upstairs, downstairs, you know, go to the nursery, the master bedroom, whatever it is that you wanted to do. So you're able to just change, interchange. So I think that's what I like about this set. It's so um, interactive and you can change things around. So, so, so fun. And these were, oh, I should show you anyways. These are the size dolls that would go in these sets. You can see that Polly, she would be able to fit here. And I think they have like, yeah, you can stick the Polly like on a little things right here and have a move if you wanted to. But yeah, see so how she, see how she sits right there or stands right there, I guess you can say. So that's the size doll that came with these sets. So there's that. Let's see what else? Okay, you guys, we're almost done. Thank God. All right. So this one, okay, another part of the Dream Builders. I think this is the, okay, this is the kitchen. Oh my gosh. This one is actually one of my favorites. I don't know why, but would you guys come over if my kitchen looked like this? look at that i just love all the colors i'm like check out that fridge and obviously i'm always serving milkshakes here <laughs> but it's just so so cute and i love the detail that they do on the roof part i don't even know like the top part how there's like a sun decal right there and the fridge actually opens and there's actually food inside so just so so fun like all the details if you guys can see that there's like actually a little honey on this on there right by the is that toast I think that's a toaster. I'm pretty sure that's a toaster, but just so, so much fun. So then we're just going to keep on building our set. See? So there's that. Let me see. Okay. <gasps> is this it? Is this the end? This is the end, you guys. This is the end. Okay. We're almost done. We are almost done. And then we have one more box to go and that's going to be part three, you guys. So here is the last one of that box. Oh, and this is the bathroom. Oh my gosh. The bathroom is actually pretty legit too. Look at this. Like, okay, first of all, look at that little roof on top, on the top, all that tiling. And then look at the swimmer right here. Oh my gosh, so much detail. So the fun thing about this set that I actually really, really liked is, well, one, you don't want them to break, but two is that the little bathtub opened. <laughs> and you can put your doll, let me see, I'll find another doll. So then all that is showing is the little doll's head. So just like this. 
this. Stick your poly. And it looks like she's in the bathtub. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? So then even like the little shower stall opens right there. And then this, you can put the little poly and have a little hair dryer dry her hair. So fun, fun little set. And then like when you closed it, when you, when you closed it, when you closed it, the fun thing about that is, this is what it looks like when it's closed. So you can store your polys like this. Just like that. And then you can put this piece right there if you wanted to. All right, you guys. So that is part two of three parts of Polly Pockets. So tell me what you guys think. Um, also let me know what is your favorite so far that you have seen in this random Polly Pocket lot. I don't even know. It's so many. Like there's, I feel like there's at least over 30 sets that we've gone through and I've been able to talk to you about and I see, oh my gosh, there's just so much going on right now. Um, yeah, and we still have one more box. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh my gosh, and it is officially 4.09 a.m., you guys, and I have one more to do. I am definitely not getting any sleep tonight. So, um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like stuff like this. Um, I definitely wanna be doing a lot more content like this. Um, specifically just Polly Pockets, just because that's something that I love and I want to share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, so catch me in the next video, part three. Bye. <laughs>